Welcome to the Thought Dakota's YouTube channel, where we teach you how to clearly state and articulate your faith. Today, we're talking about what does it mean when people say you don't listen? Thanks for joining me today. Today, we're talking about what does it mean when people say that you don't listen? First, there are like three points that I want to make about what it means when people say you don't listen. The first thing it could mean is that you're you're ignoring them. This is when people speak to you. Uh, they may tell you important information and you may forget facts and important uh, things to them. You may forget that those things. So it could mean one possibility is that you're either intentionally ignoring them. They may be telling you something you already know. You know you don't listen to them because you don't want to listen to them. Or you can be unintentionally not listening to them. And that may happen when you guys are just different and they have different uh, concerns, different interests, different values from you. And they tell you things that you really don't care about. And so your brain doesn't store the information. So that could be what they mean. And if that's the case, what you should do is just try to find out what they uh, care about and what, what they think is important. And since since you're watching this video and trying to understand what that possibly could mean, then maybe you think that's important that 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 you listen to them and uh, at least you understand where they're coming from. So that's one thing you could do. Secondly, it could mean that you're not trying to understand them. Uh, let's say you're intentionally ignoring them, then you may maybe uh, not not be sympathetic to their emotions. Maybe you don't care about how they feel, uh, their feelings. And maybe what they mean when they say you don't listen is that you're not trying to understand them. You don't care about how they feel. Another thing that could mean uh, is that they're having a difficult time communicating their thoughts and their ideas to you. But when and when you, they go to share that information with you, you maybe uh, just speak before they're done. Uh, getting the thoughts out or are you in a them or you you just disagree without hearing the point that they're trying to make and they may already agree with you uh, sometimes that happens when you know, a person is just so used to uh, arguing with the person that when that person is agreeing with them they don't even realize that the person is agreeing with them and they're just saying no 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 and uh you know do you want chocolate ice cream i don't like chocolate ice cream you don't want chocolate ice cream because you don't like chocolate ice cream i told you i don't want chocolate ice cream i don't like chocolate that's what i just Oh, that kind of thing. Uh, you, you're so used to arguing that you're not really listening to what the other person is saying, or they may not be communicating it clearly and you're not giving them an opportunity to communicate that. Uh, or you may not show concern or interest about their feelings and, and try to understand where they're coming from emotionally. Uh, some people just want to be acknowledged. Uh, they want their feelings to be acknowledged. Uh, three, which is an important point, it could be an ad hominem attack. Uh, ad hominem attack is an attack to the person uh, it's to the man and that's in a, a fallacy of reasoning that says since I criticize you since you are immoral or flawed in some sense that means you're wrong about your point uh, so when people say that you don't listen it's kind of like an ad hominem attack uh, how, to, how would that work it, well, it goes like this well we all uh, most cultures and most people accept the golden rule right treat others as you would uh, as you want to be treated Jesus said uh, do unto others as you have them do unto you and uh, some of the other religious uh, uh, thinkers uh, and philosophers had met, said the same uh, rule the golden rule uh, so since we want to be listened to right we should also listen to others and so when a person says that you don't listen then and, and you have listened to them if you have listened to their argument their position their reasoning their thinking and you've s poked a hole in it you've shown how the reasoning is not valid how it is illogical or you show that their evidence does not support uh, their, their, their argument then it's not that you're not listening because you can't respond Respond accurately and precisely and not listen. So what they mean by saying you're not listening is trying to distract from the argument and to say that you are immoral because you don't agree, basically. Uh, and so if that's the response, basically what, what it means to say that you're not listening is just to say that you don't agree with them. And of course, that's why we're having a, a discussion. That's my, maybe why you're having a, a discussion about some things. So that's what, that's what that means. So let's just uh, wrap back up. 
uh, recap what it could mean when people say that you don't listen first. It can mean that you're ignoring them. Either you're doing it intentionally or you're doing it unintentionally. You could be forgetting facts that they find important, forgetting dates and events and conversations that the, and things that they share with you in confidence and you just completely forgot those things. They could. That's what they could mean by saying you don't listen. It could mean that you are not listening. You are purposely uh, ignoring them. Uh, it could mean that you're not trying to understand them. Either you're not trying to understand why they feel the emotions that they feel or what emotions they feel, or it could mean that you are not assisting them by allowing them to get their thoughts out, to communicate what they feel and what they think. You may be interrupting them before they can complete their thought or just not in helping them by uh, encouraging them to, to, to that when they are on the right track and when they are uh, communicating well uh, by giving giving them verbal cues or nonverbal cues that you're listening and that uh, you understand and that they're making progress with their points and clearly stating their ideas because some people struggle with those ideas. Uh, finally, it could be an ad hominem attack. It could be that you have not, you have just refuted their, their thinking, their evidence. You may have pointed to the insufficiency of their evidence that they provided for their conclusion. And what they mean to say that you're not listening is an ad hominem attack. It's a fallacy, basically so just saying that you don't agree with them. So these are uh, possibilities to what it people could mean when they say that you're not listening. Thank you for tuning in to Sean Mixon, the Thought Decoder, and remember to think better.